Hello, Todd Long, Carolina Realty World, carolinarealtyworld.com. I guess I need to get really low in order for you to be able to see me today. <laughs> so I made a couple of videos back in 2017 talking about, well, making a prediction that our government would do something to um, make more people able to buy houses. I made the prediction that they would do something with student loan debt because it's the biggest problem we're having right now with getting the millennials approved to buy houses is their debt load. It's not that they don't have good credit, they've got good jobs, the ones that are trying to apply, they want to buy a house, they are now having children and want to own their own scrap of land, but they have too much debt, so their debt to income ratios are out of whack. We're also seeing this problem with um, the housing. There's a measure for figuring out if houses are affordable or not. And a part of that is interest rates. And a part of that is the purchase price of the property. But it has to do with your debt to income ratio too. Like what can you afford to actually buy? So I predicted back in 2017 that whether it was a manufactured crisis or not, they would find a way to start reducing the student loan debt. So I suggested what they could do, and I'm not saying this is a good idea, but I'm saying that they could take, say that if you are going to buy a house and you have student loan debt, they could forgive $5,000 per year of your student loan debt up to say seven years, that'd be $35,000 you could take off your student loan debt if you stay in your house for seven years. And they could qualify you on the loan based on that debt has already been removed so it would alleviate the problem of the debt to income ratio being out of whack because they would take it off now and give you a credit for it now and then they would relieve it one year at a time so that's all to to say that i thought president trump might be the person to actually do this because he's a real estate guy wants to see real estate do well, of course, and that's the reason I made the prediction in 2017 that that would happen. But who knew it would be the Democrats that came that would come up with this, and specifically this new congressman from New York, her name, um, Alexandria Cortez, I think. Uh, if, you've, if you've studied anything about the new socialist movement that's coming through the Democratic Party. Her name keeps coming up. And this is not a political commentary. I'm just telling you the facts as I see them that this lady and some of her new people surrounding her in Congress are moving the Democratic Party into a socialist party. And part of their ideas are to give out free money from the government because our government's always been really good at finding ways just to give away money to people, print more money, print, print us into oblivion. We have $22 trillion in debt now, and that's what politicians do. They give away free stuff in order to get reelected. So this isn't a new concept. It's just that now socialism seems to be an accepted practice, which, by the way, if you study socialism and go back and look at Venezuela and some of the other countries that have had tried to do it, it doesn't work long term. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because Alexander Cortez actually came out with some talking points this past week about her debt, ju debt jubilee for student loan debt. Like, literally, she is proposing a debt jubilee where they erase student loan debt. And she's getting a pushback from the people that don't believe in it because they say, well, this is really just helping out the upper middle class people, the people that could already afford to go to school, could afford to get loans, could, they're now out in the workforce actually making money because they got student, they got student loans and graduated. So she's gonna have some problems actually getting this through. But I made the prediction that our government would find a way to manufacture a way to get more people into housing. Now I thought it would probably not happen until we saw the real estate market shift and actually go down in price 
before they found a way to manufacture more people into the housing market. It's what the, always happens. We start to see the market roll over. They start doing no income, no asset verification loans, put people in the houses that probably shouldn't be there in the first place. They always find a way to extend out the real estate market longer than it should because it employs so many people and so many people rely on real estate sales in order to have a livelihood contractors plumbers electricians home inspectors attorneys a lot of people are affected by the housing market so keep your eye on this let's see if the democrats do latch on to this i think it's actually something the republicans would support too because it is going to actually help the upper middle class people which is some of their voting people too and let's face it the democrats and the republicans both love to give away free money so that they can get reelected in the next cycle so stay tuned let's see if my prediction comes true todd long keller williams carolina realtor world call us if you have any interest in buying selling or investing in real estate 704-360-0667 have a great week